Hey everyone, um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know why I'm making this video, I guess I just, I guess this is me flexing, um, I, I wanted to show off, like, my system of a down collection, like, show all the CDs, uh, the vinyls, and just all the stuff I've been collecting for about three years at this point, um, and at the time I'm filming this, it's May the 28th, 2020. It's about 6 in the morning. And uh, it's the, I think, 25th anniversary of when System first played together at their first ever concert at the Roxy Theater in California in 1995, which is pretty crazy. And the reason why I have all these CDs and shit is because a lot of them have, you know, extra stuff, really cool things. But most of them, the reason why I collected a lot of these, were because of the live tracks, which I'll talk about and get to as I go down all this shit. Uh, not only that, I went as far to track down when I ordered them, where I ordered them, and who I bought them from. So if you just want a good look at this, maybe pause the video and look at all that. So um, I guess uh, this is going to be horribly disorganized. Whenever I get to a, like, um, actually I forgot one more thing, hold on. Uh, where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is it? Shit. This is... Fucking horrible, isn't it? Um, if I can't find it, then fuck it. Uh. Oh, it's right here. Fuck it down. Okay, just gonna toss that right there. All right. Um. Yeah, let's get this started. Uh. Guess we start with the first album, I guess, uh, this is the debut album, uh, just plainly called System of a Down, released by American Records, of course, has the 13 songs we all know and love, their debut album, uh, it went certified gold when Toxicity came out, which I'll get to in a bit, but, um, yeah, so, this wasn't the first System album I bought, actually, the first one was Toxicity, which I'll get to later. I bought the first album on September 5th, 2017. And I also bought it the same day as Steal This Album on CD. I put... I don't have the... I don't have Toxicity or Soul or the debut album on vinyl yet, but for Steal, Mez, and Hypnotize, I have them on CD and vinyl, which I'll get to talking about later. Okay, um, next is the Sugar EP which means extended play, if you didn't know. Now, this includes Sugar, obviously, the album version, the clean version without the swearing, and, of course, uh, the live versions of Sugar, War... Yeah, just Sugar and War and the clean versions of the live versions, but why the fuck would I want to listen to those? Which are also included on the bonus pack, which is right there. But the reason why I wanted to get this, um, this EP is because of Storaged, which is track three which is a rare studio track that I could only really manage to... There are, like, other single CDs that you can get that have storage on it, but I mainly wanted to get this one because I really like the way the cover looks. Um, and it just popped up on... It popped up on eBay. Oh, yeah, I should probably fucking have said that. Got that from Amazon. This is from eBay. From, uh... Fuck me. Um, Stone Alliance. I ordered this on... June 14th, 2019. Yeah, none of these are in order, by the way. So, just a heads up. Oh, God. Uh, this is the bonus pack, which I bought um, off Amazon from... Uh, for these, I just put Amazon, because I assume the warehouse just dealt with it, so who the fuck cares who sold it to me. But um, for the bonus pack, which I got on September 24th, about 19 days after getting it on just a normal edition, and I got it from Music Go Around, and yeah, uh, this isn't the original case that it came in, because this CD, this CD's so old, 
it was broken whenever it got here, so I bought a new two disc case for it. Here's just the normal CD. It's the exact same CD from the original. Oh, shit. Exact same CD from the original, but on the back, it's the live track CD, which has the Sugar, War, Sweet Pea, and No performances from. Uh, when did they fucking. I do sold live. I should know these. Know this shit. Um. Uh, it's when they played at. I'll know the other ones, I promise, but this one, uh, it was in New York. And I forget the venue, but they were playing in New York, and for some reason they must have thought, okay, fuck it, these are the four live tracks, the only known live tracks from that New York show that was released and people know of, because a fan recorded the day, the previous day they played, but didn't record the day these bonus tracks, these live tracks were recorded and released, so fuck it. That's the bonus pack. Go check it out if you want the live tracks. Okay, I guess I'll just go here. Um, this is the Chop Suey EP, which I think I got from Australia, because a lot of these Australia CDs have this warning label on it, and um, you could see them also on the Lonely Day EP and the BYOB EP, which I know I got from uh, Australia. And uh, this Chop Suey single, I got it from eBay, I think. Yeah, from eBay. I got it on eBay on <laughs> July 3rd, 2019. The day before Independence Day. How hilarious. From Nina U CDs, DVDs, com, AU. Yeah, I did get it from Australia. I fucking knew it. Okay. So, uh, thank you, Nina. Um, you're probably wondering, what the fuck is this? Why do I have this? Well... I actually have two versions of this CD. The first version, uh, actually it's not a CD, it's a DVD. But uh, this version I thought was the one I was looking for. It wasn't. It's just a bunch of other band music videos, which I just have that for collector's sake now. But I was looking for this one, which is in a cardboard sleeve. And the reason why is because on it, the first ever, the f not the first ever, the first music video on it is Boom from Steel This Album. The only music video they did for Steel, which kind of makes me sad because I, I fucking love that. I love Steel. It's great. But um, yeah, that's why I wanted to get this. It's a DVD sampler that I don't think was sold in stores. I don't know, I don't know where this came from. Uh, there's Surgical Strike. I think that's Surge's record label. I could be wrong, though. But um, yeah, this just popped up on eBay one day, and I was like, oh my god, that's what I'm looking for. And uh, I didn't feel like writing down the whole fucking name. Um, I got it on August 8th, 2019, from 177 Maggie. So thank you, Maggie, for having uh, that CD I was looking for. Not CD, DVD, fuck. Okay, now we get to Toxicity, the album that made System system pretty much this is the album that exploded and made system like the most the the well-known band that they are today this was also the first physical cd i bought of system and i got it on august 25th 2017 yeah this was the first one i ever got my first ever system cd which is nice and of course we have the red version and the blue version now, the red version, if you can read that right there, it has um, CD-ROM featuring behind-the-scenes footage of making the album, which you can find on YouTube in way better quality, because I don't know where fans found the better quality version of that, but, um, yeah, it's pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, I think this is, yeah, it's still the original case, so, it's very, I forget how you, oh, you, like, you lift it that way, and there's the behind-the-scenes disc. So yeah, it's nice get. It was nice getting this CD. Got it on eBay um, from Red Toxicity from Nina18 on November 21st, 2018. Cool. And this is the blue version that has. A DVD, which includes the Toxicity music video and live pro shot recordings of Prison Song, Chop Suey, and Bounce from 
the Bryce Jordan Center on in 2001 at some time. Sold Live. I'm, I featured it in an episode of Sold Live. This is a new uh, two-disc case I had to buy because the one it came in was broken. Also, I'm kind of a fucking psychopath. It didn't come with its own toxicity CD, so I ordered a used one off eBay because it only came with the DVD, which, I mean, I don't mind. I'm happy I have the DVD at least, but it fucking bothered me that it didn't have its own CD, so I bought another fucking toxicity CD just so this one could have its own. So yeah, and this is the Toxicity single, which obviously has Toxicity, and it also includes the live live versions of X and Suggestions, which was recorded at the K-Rock Almost Acoustic Christmas 2001 concert. And the full concert is available, but it's in very low quality. <laughs> it was a very low quality webcast, and it kind of fucking sucks. But... Thankfully, the X and Suggestions performances are in very high quality. I think they were also broadcast on the radio on K-Rock's station. And also, it comes with the video version of Sugar, but it's a CD, so it doesn't look the best. So, um, yeah, whatever. I mean, there's other versions of this single you can definitely get. I know there's a gray version, but I'm not sure if it has the, uh the live tracks or not. I could be wrong, though. But this is the red version I found on eBay. Um... Toxicity single. I got it from Slacker Online on November 11th. Oh yeah, there's also the Aerial CD. I bought it on same fucking day. Uh, yeah, same fucking day. Okay, I was kind of confused. So yeah, get this if you want to. Also from Australia. Haha. <laughs> and here's Aerials, another single CD, which includes. Oh yeah, this is one of the weird fucking CD cases where it's like a thin. And the track listing is on the on the on the back like this to its side. It has live recordings of uh, the Sugar Toxicity and Pluck performances from Université Montreal in March 2002. These are pretty. It's a pretty awesome CD to be honest. I was really happy I found this one. Uh, I got it from. Uh, okay, that was Slacker Online. I got the Aerial single from J Herm on eBay. So thank you, J Herm. These are really awesome live tracks. And Obey Your System did a video where he took fan re a fan recording of the concert and put the live tracks over it. So check out Obey Your System's uh, videos on that concert because it was really awesome. It's cool that they did that. Okay. I should probably address these two. Okay, so you're probably wondering, why the fuck do I have these two live CDs? Well, it's because they both have System of a Down live tracks on them. The Pledge of Allegiance, Allegiance Tour live recording CD. The first three tracks are of Chop Suey, Bounce, and Toxicity. Uh, I forget which venue it was played at, but this is the only three recordings available of that venue. So it's kind of weird that they were officially released, um, but it's it's nice. It's nice to have this. It's it was cool, and uh, the Ozfest live CD, unfortunately, only has one. It's the Needles performance, but a fan did record this full concert in audio form, so you can find that online pretty much, and just combine the live track with the fan recording, and you know, it's pretty cool, and uh, I bought. Actually, both of these from the same seller on the same day, actually. Uh, I think I put them side by side. Uh, where the fuck are they? Yeah, here they are. Um, I bought them on September 7th, 2018. From... Uh, Dec... Dec... What? D-E-C-L-U-T-T-R underscore st store. Yeah, I bought it from that guy. So, uh, thank you to him. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I'll also address this. Uh, Scorpion King. Why the fuck do I have the Scorpion King soundtrack? Well, if you're a true system fan, you know that it has Streamline on it. But the thing is, uh, Streamline is the last track off Steal This Album, which is my favorite album. Um, and the reason why I bought this CD for Streamline 
is because this is actually an earlier version of Streamline that sounds kind of different from the studio version that, well, the final version that they did. So I would recommend getting this Scorpion King CD because of this version of Streamline that's on it. It sounds really good. Uh, I prefer this, the final version, but this was still really unique to discover and have. I got this CD from... Uh, I got it on September 16th, 2018, from on eBay from Cage771. Thanks, Cage. Nick Cage. Alright, now, if you need any more reason as to why or how I think Steal This Album is my favorite album, uh, one, two, three, four, five, and the vinyl. Uh, yeah, I have essentially six different copies of Steal This Album. Now, let me explain why. All right, so this is the version I got off Amazon for, they were, they sell these CDs for really cheap these days, so got it off Amazon the same day as when I got the first album on September 5th, 2017. And, uh, yeah, it's, this is just the standard disc. It doesn't have a, man, it doesn't have, like, a booklet with it. But that was mainly because they wanted this to look bootleg, so they made it not have a manual, or whatever the fuck. They did, but of course, you don't know, like, who wrote the songs and what the lyrics are, so they had this thing where you had to go to systemofadown.com slash connected after you put your CD in your CD, uh, ROM and click connected, but uh, this doesn't work anymore. But fans, thankfully, they copied all the lyrics and stuff and put them on AZ Lyrics and other lyric websites. So, yeah, that's uh, that's, uh, that's available if you guys need it. Now, why do I have four other CD copies of Steel? Well, I mean, they're, it's pretty obvious just by, you know, looking at these CDs. Sorry, my hair's getting in the way. Alright, so, there were four limited edition CDs that I didn't think I'd be able to get. So I'm kind of happy I have these. Um, I think the first one I got was this one, which they have their signatures on it. So this one was done by Darren. Um, I found this like in a lot. A guy was selling two used System of a Down CDs and this was one of them. And um, the thing is, uh, it was just loose, a loose CD, so I actually, because I'm so fucking crazy, I bought a, a used copy of Steal This Album off eBay, just so I could give this one its own case, and, um, yeah, pretty much, there's a stain on this CD, but I don't think you can see it, uh, it's right there, if you can see it, if not, then, whatever, but, um, uh, yeah, I got Darren's, um, and Chavo's, this is Shavel's design. You can see his name right there. It looks like a flame. <laughs> looks pretty cool. And uh, this is uh, this is it came in its own case, but you could tell by the parental advisory label on it. It's its own original case. Now there's nothing different technically about the um, five CD versions of Steel This Album. Like there's no CD-ROM extras for each disc. They're all just the same album with their own unique disc designs done by all four members of the band so of course this one was done by Shavo it looks really cool and of course Darren's is uh, I guess stripper legs I don't I don't fucking know what I was supposed to be it's interesting though and then I got I think John's um, oh it has a it has a little sticker on it I got this one off Discogs I probably should have addressed that I'll, I'll get to the how I got all four versions when I'm done looking at them, but this is John's um, CD. It's a skull, and I really like it. It looks really cool. I think I got this one. Uh, actually, I think all of these came from outside the U.S. Uh, okay, not all of them, but a, a lot of these CDs came came from outside the U.S. I don't I don't know like where all of them came from. I know some of them, but I'll of course fucking get to it. But uh, this one, uh, I was pretty happy when I got this one pretty good but uh the one i was most happy about was probably my favorite design it was the one by surge which has a uh bunch of writing on it it's probably the most unique looking one in my opinion uh yeah i got this from outside the u.s 
uh, thank you eBay. Uh, and I should probably address how I got all these copies. So, um, got surges on. Oh god, I'm, I'm fucking crazy. I ordered all four of these CDs in the same month. Not even a few days apart from each other. So, I first got Darren's on June 16th, 2019 from, on eBay from Retro Relapse. Then a day later, I ordered Chavo's design on eBay from Tesse 5. And then I ordered Surges on eBay from Terry Sh Terry's Shed. And then a day later, a day later, I swear to God. A day later, I got John's design from, on Discogs from Kubo Ferd. So thank you, all four of you, for helping me get all the versions of my favorite system album it means a lot and I guess the last thing to bring up about my copies of steel is obviously the vinyl it's a two vinyl disc edition and it's pretty fucking dope though one thing I will say is that um with all these vinyls the the covers they used are heavily low resolution. They look very JPEG. You can see a lot of artifacting on these covers. And the vinyls are in good quality. Like, these are great sounding vinyls, but the cover art, for some reason, just doesn't look as good as it probably could have. Still solid vinyls. I'm happy they started reprinting these. They're nice to have. Um, I guess that means we're done with the first three, first three, um, system albums. So I guess we're going to move on to the Mesmerize Hypnotize phase. So, of course, we have the BYOB single, which I got from Australia, because of, this is like a warning on all the <laughs> Australia CDs. I don't think Australians give a fuck, though, if they're swearing and shit on it. They, it's system. They know what the fuck they're getting into. But this is a BYOB, um, single. I got from Australia from on eBay on June 18th, 2018 from 10 Queer Out. And as you can see from the bottom left, the reason why I got it was because it features live tracks recorded at the Big Day Out Sydney 2005. And the live tracks, if you saw my 2005-2006 retrospective, which I highly recommend checking out, I put a lot of effort into it. Um, it has live tracks of Forest, Present Song, and Sugar. So, yeah, get this single CD if you want it. Of course, Mesmerize, a good album. Uh, not, much, not much to really say about this one, just a great album. I love it, I love it, I love it. It is fantastic. And I got this off Amazon on... got the CD off Amazon on August 29th, 2017. And of course, the vinyl version, which, as I mentioned earlier, you can see the resolution on this printed out cover is very low. Lots of artifacting. It looks very JPEG. So I feel like they kind of dropped the ball with the sleeve cover art. Like, the back looks a bit good. The back looks good, kind of. It's just, it's the front labels that look very low resolution. Again, the vinyls sound great. They're very well made vinyls, but the sleeves themselves are just, I feel like they could have looked a bit better. Unless they don't have the original cover art anymore and they just had to stretch out the a low resolution image. But a uh, good good vinyl. Recommend it. Oh yeah, I should probably bring up um, the Steel This Album vinyl. All the, the, the two vinyls are in sleeves that are modeled after the drawings and designs of the CDs, which is really fucking cool. I recommend getting that album. It's great. And um, this is the question singles. This is the CD, and this is the DVD, which I thought would be um, region locked, but I think it says on the... On, it should say on the disc somewhere. Uh... Yeah, it says PAL DVD right there if you can see it. So I thought this wouldn't work on my um, computer's DVD player, but CD DVD player. But um, 
it, it works on mine, so yeah, that's that's good. Um, the reason why, of course, I I got I actually managed. I uh, it's like a chance. It was a chance thing. I saw on eBay, and I was like, oh my god, I have to get this. This is destiny. Um, and this wasn't the only time it happened to me, but I'll get to that in a bit. Um, I got the question. I got the question CD and DVD singles on June on the 11th. Uh, sorry. I'm fucking tired. November 24th, 2018, from on eBay from New Revolution. He had both of them on the same listing. So I realized, oh my god, I have to get this. Like, oh man, and they came in after like a month or so. It was out of it was out of um out of the US, so it takes a while for these CDs to get here. But um yeah, that's how I got these. Um the CD is really cool. It has it has question obviously, but it also has f the Forest and Prison song live recordings from Big Day Out that were on the BYOB single, and it also has a question live video recording from the Hurricane Festival concert, which is a concert I adore. But I feel like they should have put the live video on the DVD. So it would have been in better quality. Because it's very low resolution on CD. Because obviously CDs are not the best for digital video. Because uh, clearly. Because DVD I'm pretty sure stands for digital video disc. I don't know what CD stands for but you know. I feel like the question live video should have been put on the DVD. And what's cool about the DVD though is that it has... It has the question and BYOB music videos, but uh, the BYOB one is, it says explicit right there, but it's actually the censored version of the music video, which kind of sucks. But, um, oh, I didn't even notice this. Oh my god. Okay, so the CD has the Forest and Prison Song live tracks, and the DVD has the Sugar live track from Big, Th Big Day Out, which is really cool. But the best part about the DVD, I feel, is it has the explicit, uncensored live recording of B the first ever time they played BYOB at the Astoria Theater in on April 4th, 2005. So, that's cool and all, but I feel like they should have put the BYOB live track on the CD, and they could have put the question live video on the DVD. So I feel like... They should have just swapped both of these tracks, but um, yeah, whatever. I mean, we have a we have an HD source for the Question Live performance, anyways, which aired on TV, so it's whatever. Also, I like the designs. How this one's green and this one's red. I think that's really cool. I'm really happy I have these. Oh man. Okay. My back's killing me. All oh, right. And we come to, you're probably wondering, why the fuck do I have two fucking copies of Hypnotize? Oh, man. Um, actually, I'll get to that in a bit. But uh, this is the Hypnotize copy that I ordered off eBay. Not eBay, fuck. Oh, man. I ordered it off Amazon, and I ordered it, uh, the CD version. I got it on August 31st, 2017. And, uh, great album. It, it fits... If this ends up being the last System of a Down album, then I honestly won't be too sad. I'd love for another album to come out, but I don't know how they would top Hypnotize. And I feel like they should probably just leave it at that. Nothing else to say about these albums. I want to do like reviews of all System's out studio albums at some point. Maybe after I wrap up uh, Sold Live. Like, I catch up with Sold Live and stuff, and I'm just like, okay, I have nothing else to talk about. Better discuss the studio albums. But, um, yeah, this is a great album. The only thing that was fucked up with my order was, um, they bent, uh, this part. But, uh, apart from that, eh, not, not a huge loss. It's, it's fine. And you're probably wondering, why the fuck do I have another one? Well... This is the Duo Disc Edition of Hypnotize. What does that mean? Well, 
it's not just a CD, it's a DVD. And what's cool is that it's like, let me show it off. Okay, so one side's the DV one side is the DVD, the other side is the CD. And what's cool is that the DVD side has the entire album on it in enhanced stereo. It has a behind the scenes featurette about them making Mesmerize and Hypnotize, which is pretty cool. And it has the BYOB and Question music videos in high quality. And also, BYOB on here is uncensored, which caught me off guard. So get this dual disc edition of Hypnotize if you have a good sound system to play it in enhanced stereo, because this is really fucking cool. I have these, I usually put these um, on display right here, if you've seen pictures of it. Um, and I put like, I put, I put the dual disc edition of Hypnotize backwards so people can see, oh, it's the dual disc, dual disc edition. Also, if you were wondering, um, here's my search, Tonkian Shrine, got these, got these, uh, off eBay, <laughs> these pinups of Surge. Uh, got that off eBay, too, along with that, the Elected Dead Sympathy live recording, the Elected Dead Special Edition, Limited Edition, whatever the fuck, uh, and Perfect Harmonies with a DVD that came with it, and, uh, my favorite album by Surge, uh, Herakari, however you say it. And I bought it off his website, and he autographed it, so pretty happy to have that. But back to the system. And um, now we have reached probably my most proud possessions. Um, oh wait, the dual disc edition. I bought it from uh, uh, dual disc. I got it on November, yeah, November 6th, 2018. And I got it from Pristine Lee Pampered. Oh, I bought it the same day as the Hypnotized single CDs I'm about to get to. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you, Pampered. But, um, here are this, the Hypnotized single CDs. Now, I bought these on eBay from the same seller on November 6, 2018 from Vinyl Haven 24-7. He just had both of these singles that I was looking for. And what was cool was that the first CD, which is, it just, ha it has Hypnotize and a live track of Science from the Hurricane Festival. And it was unplayed. The guy never opened it. It wasn't sealed, obviously, but he never played it. So it was essentially brand new. And for this one, which has Hypnotize again, but the Mr. Jack and War live tracks from Hurricane Fest... And this was sealed, which caught me off guard. And uh, so I thought, oh my god, this is perfect. It's not sealed anymore, obviously, because I fucking opened it and shit. But, um, yeah, I was really happy when I found these, because these were the two CDs. Well, specifically this one. But, uh, again, I like how this one's red. This one's kind of blue, green, blue. But, um, yeah, this one, uh, I was really happy when I found this one. I, f I thought, okay, I'd probably be able to find this one. But this one I thought I'd be, it would be hard for me to find. But I ended up finding both of these from the same seller. And I was pretty damn happy. This one has the awesome Mr. Jack live track, which lasts like seven minutes. It's a really long performance. It's really great. The only complaint I have about this one is the war live track. It could have been, like, perfect, but for some reason the first, like, three seconds, no, first, like, two seconds of the war performance is cut off, and I don't know why. I addressed it in my latest episode of Sold Live Retrospective, if you want to watch that. But, uh, yeah, really happy I found these two. I was so fucking happy. Probably, the, like, it, it was kind of a chance, a chance, like, finding just like the question singles so when I found these two from the same seller I bought them immediately because I thought okay oh man never gonna where am I gonna find something perfect like that now this one is probably my most prized possession of system of a down singles this is a vinyl seven inch vinyl single of hypnotize um it obviously has hypnotize on it but Sorry. 
excuse me, but it has a very rare live track of Forest from the Hurricane Festival. And I love the Hurricane Festival, like, a lot. It's one of my favorite, and I think it's one of the most underrated, like, system, like, live shows ever. It's not fully available either, so that's why I wanted to track down these live tracks. Uh, the only flaw is that, uh, it's a f the track is actually 4 minutes and 30 seconds, but they, they put the wrong time here, 4 minutes, 5 seconds, which, I don't know what they were judging that, judging that off of, but, uh, yeah, that's incorrect. But, um, yeah, I was so happy when I got, I, f I found this on Discogs. Uh, I got it from Hypnotized Vinyl. I got it on April 26, 2019. And I got it from Seatown Records on Discogs. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Seatown Records. Oh, my God. Huh. It was, it was pretty pricey, too, which I, I was expecting. But when it arrived, I was so fucking happy. Oh, look, it has a, a similar sticker to, uh, which one was it? Was it this one? Yeah, it has, like, a similar sticker to, um, the John design for still this album. But, um, yeah, this, I recommend, if you see a listing for this at a good price, get this 7-inch vinyl, because that live track sounds in incredible. I was so happy when I got this. Like, you have no fucking clue. And I guess before I get to my last disc, I have to bring up the Hypnotize Vinyl, which was the first System of a Down vinyl I ever bought. I got it off Amazon on July 18th, 2019, which is also my cousin Andrew's birthday. So happy fucking birthday, Andrew. Um, yeah, and, uh, great vinyl. Again, these vinyls sound, like, really good. The sound is great if you have a good sound like setup and a good vinyl player so yeah uh, get the system vinyls system albums on vinyl um, I'm gonna get debut and toxicity on vinyl in the future most definitely but for now I have the last three on vinyl so pretty happy about that again uh, I wish the cover arts were in higher resolution it didn't have so much artifacting like they were JPEGs but, apart from that, the vinyl discs sound great, and they're very well mixed, and I recommend them. And now we come to the last, um, the final stop on our, on my System of a Down uh, collection, which is the Lonely Day EP, the extended play, um, which has Lonely Day on it, but it also has Shame, which is a collaboration between System of a Down and Wu-Tang Clan, and it has their Snowblind cover, which is a Black Sabbath song. Their Metro cover by um, Berlin, I think. Yeah, Berlin. And it has Marmalade, which I was so happy about. Because I love Marmalade. It's one of my favorite system songs. It's so fucking good. And uh, yeah, it also has the Lonely Day video CD extra. Which you need quick time to run this on your PC properly. So get that installed if you get this EP. It's not, you can't rip it off the CD either, I've tried, but, um, it's a, it's in decent quality, but if you watch, if you get the music video off YouTube, then it's, it's not, you're not fucking up or anything. And, uh, the one thing that kind of broke my heart about this album is that, um, it has these easily breakable, like, clip-on disc trays. And unlike, say, the Joel Case CDs, these are, like, irreplaceable. So I have to be really delicate with this because it doesn't hold it in place anymore because all the parts that are supposed to hold on to it sort of caved in. And, uh, yeah. Um, but I'm so happy I have this. It's, pro it's such a great, uh, great EP. So, get it if you guys can. Oh, okay. Now, this collection is really good, and I'm really proud of it, and I hope you guys enjoyed hearing me talk about it, but there's one, one CD that I think makes this an imperfect collection, 
besides the fact that I don't have the first two albums on vinyl yet. But there's one CD that I really want wanted to get. It's the limited edition tour CD from around 2000. And it has live tracks of the war suggest suggestions and Sweet Pea performances from when they played at the Fillmore Theater in January 2000 during snow the Snowcore uh, tour. And I thought for the longest time I was not going to be able to get that CD because it was only ever given out at their concerts. So I thought like, okay... I'm probably not going to be able to get it, like, ever. But, if you noticed on the listing, today, May 28th, 2020, on Discogs, from Electric Sheep, I managed to get it. I ordered it just now. Yeah, it, there was just a listing that popped up on Discogs that I never thought I'd ever see for like $33. And I thought like, oh my god. I, I'm gonna get the CD. <laughs> I'm gonna get the CD, so... Yeah, um... Keep an eye on my Instagram when that eventually comes in. Uh, Electric Sleep was also... He had a listing of it on eBay, and I knew it was him because it was the exact same fucking username and it was at the exact same pricing. So, uh, Electric Sheep, uh, when you get back to me, um, thank you so much for putting that listing up. I never thought I would have a, I want to say, complete collection of all the official System of a Down live tracks, but thanks to you, soon I will have a complete collection. And I also have to get the first two albums on vinyl, definitely. I probably should have waited until I got like that in my collection and the other two vinyls, but I feel like, you know, this collection is already big enough as it is. So, I just wanted to make this not a little video. This video is like 42 minutes, Jesus Christ. But, I just wanted to make a video about my System of a Down collection. I like, I just made this list. This very detailed list that I'm going to show off again. If you guys want to look at it. Again, like, pause the video and see, like, the dates and stuff and the people I bought it from and other shit. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to really say about my System of a Down collection. Um, for those of you who have been watching the Sealed Live retrospectives, I'm really sorry that they keep coming out so sporadically, like, several months apart from each other, but, you know... Now that I've got, like, the 05, 06 retrospective out, I feel like, um, the later episodes are gonna come out way faster, and I'm not talking, like, you know, next fucking week, the next episode will be out. Like, not that, but, um, the next episode shouldn't take four to three months to come out, like, uh, like what kept happening with the first four episodes, but... Because I feel like with the 05, 06 retrospective, that is, like, the best fucking episode, that is the best fucking video I will ever make in my life. Like, I feel like nothing is probably gonna top it. But, uh, yeah, thank you all so much for the support. If you can share the videos with System of a Down fans and other things. I'm in Serge Tonkian's, uh, Discord server. He pops in every now and then. I shared my 0506 retrospective in there, and there's a few people in the server who were just like, oh my god, you're that Cooper guy, you're the one who makes these system videos, dude, they're really, they're really good, you do a good job with them, and I'm like, oh, thank you, uh, it's, I'm so honored, and, uh, yeah, I guess this is my thank you, I guess, to everyone who's been watching my system videos and supporting me since I started doing them, like, when I did the first episode, like, almost a fucking year ago, I just thought, no one's gonna watch this, but then uh, I got it out, then I got the second episode out, which I was pretty proud of, got the third episode out, which I thought was pretty solid, but the fourth episode, which is the latest one that I recommend going watch, you know, so proud of that one, so proud of how it came out. I feel like um, nothing's going to top that episode, but uh, you know, 
later episodes I'm still gonna put, you know, the effort in. Gonna do the research, gonna do the highlights and shit for the future concerts. Because the reunion tour tours are definitely something I wanna look into. Because they're, they're really great. Just like their previous concerts, I feel. Some concerts are kinda, yeah, but we'll get to that when we get to that. And, uh, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble on about my System of a Down collection. And, um, yeah, I keep updated on, I keep, I'll keep you guys updated on my Instagram on how big my collection's getting, pretty much, when the limited edition tour CD comes in and when I get the two albums on, first two albums on vinyl eventually. And, uh, yeah, uh, thank you, thank you all for watching, thank you all for supporting Sold Live, and, uh, Thank you, every single one of these people, for feeding my system of a down habit. And, uh, yeah, um, it's pretty much all I wanted to say, and I hope you guys have a good night, or day, whenever the fuck you watch this, it's morning, I should probably go to bed. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.